Hi friends, I am Sujoy and now welcomes you to a very exciting video on calculator tutorials. Today I will tell you how to solve the quadratic formula directly on Casio FX 901 ES scientific calculator. But not only that, today you will learn four things. Number one, how to solve the quadratic formula directly on the calculator. Number two, how to find out the root of quadratic equation using the equation solver mode of this calculator. Number three, how to solve any quadratic or cubic polynomial directly on this calculator by programming the calculator. And number four, what is the real meaning of root? I will show you the proof. So let's start. So first, our question is find out the roots of x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation and you have to find out the roots. Now being a quadratic equation, it had two roots. One is positive root and another is negative root. I will tell you how to find out both the roots very easily. So first we will solve it by the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is given below. If x square plus bx plus c is equals to 0, then x is given by minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. So if we frame our given question, According to this formula, we will get x square or 1x square are same. So 1x square plus 2x plus minus 2 equals to 0. So that will become a equals to 1 because ax square according to the formula above b equals to 2 because bx is the format plus c. c is minus 2. So c will become minus 2. Now Let's put them into the quadratic formula. So x equals to minus b which is minus 2 plus or minus root over b square. b is 2 whole square minus 4ac. 4 into a is equals to 1 into c is minus 2 divided by 2a. 2 into 1. So that will give us 0 0.73205. Now you can see here is a plus or minus sign. That means once we will take the plus sign, we will get the positive root and once we will do the minus sign, we will get the negative root. So first we will do the plus sign calculation. So we will get 0 0.73205 for positive. There is our positive root and if we put the minus sign here, we will get minus 2.73205 and that will be our negative root. So this was the solve using the quadratic formula. Now I will tell you how to solve this formula directly onto the calculator. <coughs> and now we will program the calculator. For that we will use the fraction button and minus b. So press the minus button. b is 2. Enter 2. And now we will take the plus sign for positive root calculation. So press plus. Now root over. Press this button for root over b square, so press the raised parenthesis, 2, right parenthesis, whole square, minus 4ac, 4 into a is 1, into c is minus 2, press the joystick right twice to get down, into 2a, 2 into a, that is 1. So let's verify it, so let's verify the formula minus b that is minus 2 plus root over b square that is 2 whole square minus 4 ac minus 4 into a is 1 into c is minus 2 divided by 2a 2 into 1 and press the equals to button so that will give you the root it's in complex form now place the h to d button to get the flexion on form. That's equals to 0 0.73205. That's equals to 0 0.73205 for our positive root. And now we will simply change the sign to minus and press the equals to button. That will give us the negative root. Again press the S2D button. So our negative root is minus 
Is it cool? Now I will tell you instead of using the quadratic formula how to solve it using the equation solver mode of this calculator. So here is the button operation or sequence of buttons you have to press to get the answer. Just read it once because I will show you how to do it practically. So first press the mode button. Now press 5 for equation solver mode and number 3 for quadratic equation solver mode. Basically you can solve 4 types of equations in this mode. Number 1 is simultaneous equations. Number 2 is 3 variable or 3 linear equations. Number 3 is quadratic equations and number 4 is cubic polynomial equations. I have a separate video explaining how to use all the modes in equation solver mode of this calculator. Please watch my that video. Link is given in the video description below. So for now, we will use the quadratic mode for that press option 3. And you have to just enter the coefficients into the calculator. So our coefficients are 1, 2 and minus 2. So let's enter them. Press 1 and press the equals to button. Press 2 and press equals to button for B. And for C, press minus 2 and equals to button. So our first root that is x1 equals to 0 0.73205. Now again press the equals to button that will give you the second root that is minus 2.73205. Isn't it cool? And now in third part I will tell you how to solve the quality equation by programming the calculator. For that press mode and 1 for computational mode. And you have to first enter the equation into the calculator. So our equation is x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. So first press the alpha button to get the alphabets. And press this button for x because above this button there is the x value written. x square plus 2 again alpha and this button for x minus 2 and press alpha and this calc button to get the equals to sign equals to 0. So we have entered the equation into the calculator and now we will press shift and calc and here you have to enter your first guess for the x. Let's say our guess is 1. So press 1 and press the equals to button. See it, it will solve the equation for you and it will give you the value of x. That's equals to 0.73205. Isn't it cool? But this mode can only solve only one root of the equation. And now in part 4, I will tell you what is the meaning of root. Root is that value of x which satisfies the equation. So our root is 0 0.73205. That means if we put 0 0.73205 in place of x, it will give us 0. So for that our root is stored in the answer variable. So press answer and equals to to see that. So our answer is 0 0.73205 to be accurate. And now we will program the calculator. Our original equation was x square. So we will do answer square plus 2x. So that is 2 into answer minus 2 and press the equals to button. That's equals to 0. That means x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. That is the meaning of root. So friend, this was for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more calculator tutorials for you. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. It takes a lot of effort and research to make a tutorial like this. So please appreciate my effort by liking and sharing the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.